I love me a thunderstorm. So, how you guys doing? Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, this video I filmed not too long ago, and it's basically about some patent leather beetles that I found, which are really interesting beetles. And then it's going to be followed by this crazy larva that I'm not entirely sure what species it is yet. But I figured you guys will get a kick out of it, so hope you enjoy the video, and check it out. So I saw under here the best beetle, also known as the horn pisalis, also known as a patent leather beetle. There it is. Now these beetles like to feed on wood, but I read about this recently. They feed on a fungus. Wait, listen. They never do it when I'm holding them. They're supposed to make noises when they're upset. But it won't. Now look at those big jaws. I don't really know what they use their jaws for. Shoot. You guys didn't see that in the video. Considering what they eat. But these beetles actually hang out with their babies. They live in groups, which is rare among beetles. And they feed their babies. They literally feed them. They uh, also drop special scat or poop that's got food in it for the babies. They make these little spheres and the babies feed off them until they reach a certain age. They will actually bring food and hand it to them with their mouths. And they communicate through sound in their colonies. This hissing type of sound of wind being passed and rubbing segments together. I'm gonna let this beetle go. And what I'm gonna do I only, I pretty much ever find these inside rotting logs. I'm gonna put the log back first and then put the beetle back so I don't squish the beetle. But where there's one, there's many. This is my first for finding one around here, ever. For all these years. You know, if you look closely, there's a horn in the head, but it's hard to see here. There's the horn I'm talking about. I have no idea what it's for, but I've seen these guys going through, like, leaf litter and stuff, and it keeps hooking on, like, the grasses and litter, so it seems like it's a hindrance. But apparently it isn't. There's got to be a use for that that's important. Why would an insect, why would anything evolve with something that's a hindrance? It's got to have a use, a significant use. I've never heard anything refer to it. Don't bite me. Especially between the fingers, it hurts the most there. What is this? It's a cool larva of some sort. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, don't bite me, dude. Do not bite me. Look at those jaws. They overlap by a lot. Can you see that? Yeah, wow. Yeah. I mean, the one is the thing you see on the left is starting on the right side. They're very long. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for not getting mad at me. Thanks for tolerating my stuff. Do you wanna hold it? No. So, pretty neat, huh? Those patent leather beetles are a lot of fun. And when they're younger, or before they shed their exoskeleton, they turn this really pale brown. Uh, color and they're just really neat to look at them. I used to think it was a different species, but no They're just uh, one that's freshly molted <laughs> So once again Chris Ignato. Thanks a lot for watching guys until next time signing out So how are you doing? Mm, I'm doing good. What are you, what are you up to? Mm, just, just hanging out. Yeah, yeah, just 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 hanging around here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You like it here? Mm, it's all right. It's all right. I like it all the time. How about you? How about you? I'm doing pretty good, actually, man. So, uh, I'm going to take off. For, right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right back at you. Yeah. See you later. Awesome. Friendly skeletons. Friendly skeletons.